Hey Posh Bosses, happy almost end of month. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Jessica Perrier, otherwise known as Jessica Posh. Who's ready to finish end of month? Story time. Okay, so when I was, you know, much younger, I was a pretty fabulous soccer player. And I remember this one coach that would always um, pump us up. And so when we would have our little, oh God, it's been so many years, I don't, our huddle. <laughs> When we have our little huddle, like before the second half or something like that, our coach would say, start strong. And we would respond with, finish strong. So throughout this video, I'm going to give you some ideas. And anytime that I throw out a start strong, I'm counting on you guys to come back with a finish strong. <laughs> and we're going to really pump ourselves up for end of month. Sound like a deal? Because of course, we started April strong. So now we're going to... Did you hit your cue? Finish strong! <laughs> so I'm gonna run through my own personal end of month checklist with you guys. So I want you to grab a notebook and a pen if you don't already have one and buckle up because it's going to be a ride. I've got eight items to get through with you. The very first thing that we're gonna talk about is our commission. So we have a tiered commission structure, right? So the more you sell, the more you make. Everybody knows this, right? In case you didn't, the more you sell, the more you make. So the very first thing I'm going to do when I'm looking to wrap up my end of month is look at my PV. Where am I at? And am I very close to hitting that next tier? That gives me a gauge for how much I really want to push to gather last minute orders um, before the end of the month. And if you're sitting there thinking, Jessica, I don't know there's commission tiers. What, what are you talking about? I'm going to review them with you very quick. So as you're progressing through Pasha's commission tiers, just in case anybody doesn't know this, when you hit the next tier, you are paid retroactively the additional percentage on your first sets of orders. This will make more sense as I go on. Okay, so tier number one, you're going to sell between $1 in Posh and $349 in Posh, and then you're going to earn 20% commission. Now, when we move on to the next tier, which is $350 to $999, you earn a 5% raise. So now you're at 25% commission. Now remember when I said it pays you retroactively, once you hit that 350, you're going to get that additional 5% on the first $349 that you sold. So hitting that next tier is really huge and it gives you an immediate raise in pay. So what, back to the point of my video, <laughs> the very first thing we're going to do is review our commission tier and see how close we are to the next one. 1,000 to 299 is at 30%, 3,000 to 499 is at 35%. And then if you're a big seller, I was gonna say spender, but no, if you're a big seller and you're at $5,000 or more, you're all the way up to 40% commission. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do in wrapping up um, our end of month is review where we are at with our commission tier, right? Because we're gonna start strong. You know the drill, finish strong. I'll probably keep screaming it the whole time, you're fine. The second thing on my end of month checklist is am I on track for a monthly award? Monthly award is so huge for your business and consistently hitting the monthly award is going to help you to grow a ginormous organization. I can tell you that my very first goal in my posh business, once I started working it as a business, was to hit monthly award every single month. And hi, I'm a Platinum Plus Premier now. It really works. So how on track for a monthly award are you? And while we're talking about monthly award, let me tell you how to earn it. So there are three different ways that you can earn monthly award. $1,000 in sales and two recruits. $2,000 in sales and one recruit. Or $3,000 in sales and none recruits. Those are the three different ways that you can earn monthly award. When you earn monthly award, it's a $100 bonus. And like I said, it's also a great way to build a rock star business. Because in April, you started strong. So now we're going to, you know. Okay. Checklist item number three, have you checked in with your teammates? Are they close to the next commission tier? Are they close to hitting monthly award? All of the things that you're checking on for yourself, check in with your teammates. Checklist number four, do we have any room for a promotion this month? Do you have any promotion potential? Make sure that you're familiar with the pay plan. You want to know you might be inches from promoting to pink plus three. P.S. Did you know that you can promote all the way up to pink plus three by yourself? You can do it with a team or by yourself. You need to have a team when you're going to be reaching for those premier ranks and above, but you can promote, self-promote all the way up to pink plus three. 
Take a look at the pay plan and see where you're at. What's your next goal? One, two, three, four. We are on to tip number five. I hope that you are setting your own goals for yourself every single month. At the beginning of the month, I like to reflect on what I did the month before, reflect on or look forward to my goals in the future and what I need to do to achieve them. And then I set my goals for the month. I'm usually shooting for a certain amount of PV, a certain number of recruits, that sort of thing. So review your own goals that you've set for yourself. And if for whatever reason you didn't have a chance to set any goals for April, use this time that you've set aside for end of month planning to go ahead and set some goals for next month. Number six is my personal favorite. That's not true, they're all my favorite. But number six is have you handwritten thank you cards to every one of your customers that ordered from you this month. That is such a biggie, and that alone will drive future business to you like you wouldn't believe. Follow-up is so important, and I could do a whole nother video of 20 minutes just about follow-up, but for this video's purposes, I think we're on number seven. Hand write a thank you card to every single person that ordered with you this month and pop it in the mail. And I suggest putting that on your end of month list every single month, right? I try to do handwritten thank you cards as the orders come in throughout the month, but you know what? Sometimes months just get away from me and this month is one of them. But I started strong, so now I'm gonna finish strong with handwritten thank you notes to all of my customers. The very last thing that I'm going to ask you to do to set yourself up for success with this end of month is to ask yourself if you set yourself up for success for next month. That's right, I'm already talking about May. We are still in April, we are finishing the month strong, but there's no reason for us not to have set an attention for May already. Do you have sample packs pre-made? Do you have your booking calendar filled? Have you coached your hostesses? When you take the time to prepare for the next month in advance, then it takes a lot of weight off your shoulders during end of month, right? A lot of people are pushing to hit goals right up into the last minute of end of month, and that is totally fine. But when you take your time and set yourself up for success in advance, it takes a little bit off your shoulders at end of month because you've accomplished everything that you set out to do already. Now here's a bonus tip. I've already been through all eight, but for any of you that are still pushing and wanting to hit that promotion or hit that next commission tier, remember to let your customers know what your goals are. People love helping other people. So when you reach out and say, hey, Sally Sue, I just wanted to check in on you and see um, you know, if you needed any more posh, blah, 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 blah. I'm pushing really hard to hit my goal and I could really use your help. It's not annoying to ask somebody for help. It is annoying if you're doing that literally every single end of month. <laughs> but if this is a regular customer of yours or somebody that's recently tried and loved her samples, let her know that you're chasing a goal. You never know, she might wanna just go ahead and place her order to help you hit your goal because then she feels like she did something good for her and for you. Okay, everybody, and as you're finishing up your end of month, remember, when we start strong, we you've got it down. Best of luck to you and your business. I hope that this video was helpful and not a little too crazy for you. Um, again, I am Jessica Posh and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm getting a little delirious. Everything's fine. I just hit myself. <laughs> I had something else to say. But now I can't remember it. Okay, well, anyway. So the very, oh, I know, I remembered. <laughs> um, let me start this over. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I have said the month so many times in this video Happy end of May. Nope, it's end of April.